lovely crocheters and happy new year this will be published on monday morning monday being the 4th of january it's not live because i don't have internet at home at the morning um at the moment and it won't be fixed until tuesday we don't get enough reception from the sky here to make videoing or even posting particularly possible so it's saturday at the moment happy new year um it's been mandala week i've seen a few mandalas are looking fantastic i've really enjoyed mandala week this is my mandala can i just say this is a 1.75 millimeter hook and i am super excited about that and being very brave with my hooks and i'm really enjoying this this is from mandalas to crochet the book i showed you by hafner linson um, there was a blog post that went up with all the information for Mandala Week theme week in it and that's going to be happening every week from now on and I will be backdating that and if you head over to the blog I'll put the link in the comments for this video you can also see a schedule for the next five or so theme weeks so there's some fun stuff in there as I said please do give me any suggestions you have I'm happy to go with anything I'm doing this for me as much as for you and I hope you're enjoying it as much as I am okay next week is flowers um I've just been in the shopping center using the internet there to have a look around and I found a variety of flower patterns some are um tiny little simple ones so you can just do a really simple thing just make a little flower that you can use for embellishments or to make hairpins for kids or bookmarks all sorts of things or even wrapping things for wrapping presents and stuff just tiny little ones also something a bit more practical um also something a bit more complex and also an afghan square pattern of my own called Kof's bloom square which is a flower inside an afghan square that you might like to have a go at so there's a variety of different kinds of flowers in flower week i wanted to i'll just show you i bought these oh what are they i think they're burlap or hessian um canvas squares from kmart um, with no idea really what I was going to do with them, although I did put a, a mandala on that one. My idea is to make like a like a wall hanging. It's off center. I'm not sure if I should have centered that. Um, but what I was thinking to do is like add flowers all around it. So I don't know how that's going to work out, but that's what I'm going to do with my flowers. And um, I'll write that post today and I'll pop to the library can use the internet outside the library tomorrow um, and I'll make sure that that post is up there with the resources for flower theme week and also hopefully I'll be able to get this video onto YouTube um, because that's the easiest way to put it onto Facebook um, and I think that's it. I hope everyone is having a good start to the year. Oh, I don't know if you saw my newsletter yet. I was asking in Wednesday's newsletter if you have any crochet goals for 2021. I was thinking of not buying any yarn and then I quickly decided that that was a ridiculous idea that I could never stick to. Um, but I'm thinking maybe just not buy yarn for new projects there's a lady i follow on instagram called hannah at into the trees and she was saying that she's not going to buy any new yarn that's not for a gift or not for something that she needs to finish which i thought might be a nice way of approaching it i have so much yarn and um i want to start using it up to which end i did start another gratitude blanket but i'm going off at a tangent here i'll share that somewhere else but I'm using up all oddments and bits and pieces that I've got lying around. Oh, it's my cat. Is he going to be? No, he doesn't. Oh, he is. <laughs> Start scratching the furniture when he wants to be famous, Kenny. Famous on the internet. Um. Anyway, so yeah, I haven't got a link to the newsletter on my blog yet because I, I was going to do that this week, but I have no internet to set it up. So I'm going to set up some automated stuff and a link to the newsletter on the blog um at the moment it's going out still as hooks as hill hooks and hills which was my previous blog 
So I'm in the process of updating everything properly. So there will be a proper sign up forum coming soon. But meantime, what I'll do is I'll add the last week's newsletter in the comments below this video and you can subscribe from there if you'd like to. Um, there's information about theme weeks and, and any new posts on the blog, just useful things. Um, if there's anything you'd like to see in that, please let me know. Um, hope it will let you know when my latest pattern is out. I'm at the moment putting a new design that I finished off yesterday into the testing process. So there'll be a new pattern on the blog um, this month. I'm planning to make a new square pattern every month. Um, so if you sign up to the newsletter, you'll get information about that. But yeah, let's stay focused. So it's flowers this week on the blog. I hope you'll join in. There's a variety of patterns there. Also, if you have a thing about making flowers, share, share what patterns you have. Share what things you've done with your flowers, what, what kind of things you like to do. Um, Rachel, hi Rachel, was asking last week, what do you do with a mandala? Which is a good question. Um, I've got lots of them and they tend to just go from room to room, but you can do wall hangings, all sorts of things. And I'm also working on a post of 20 different things you can do with mandalas. So I'll be sending that out soon as well. Um, so yeah. Hopefully this has turned out okay. I will upload it to YouTube. It will be there on Monday morning. No live, as I said, because I have no internet at home. Kelly, stop it. It's destroying the furniture. Um, and the lives will be back next week. So enjoy Flower Week and I'll see you soon. Have a great start to 2021. Bye.